If a bomb explodes from inside of a truck, the debris fields scattered around the blast site will be chaotic. But a fireworks display can explode bombs into the shape of smiley faces. The first scenario is what we normally expect from an explosion. The second one is exceptional. The fireworks bombs are rigged in advance to produce an unexpected and entertaining result. A fair question then is whether the Big Bang of our universe was more like the first or the second scenario. Picture a set of 20 or so dials on a master control panel for the operation of the universe. Each dial has a series of numerical marks around the edges like a clock. But instead of having 60 marks like a clock, these dials have trillions of marks. If each dial weren't set to one infinitesimally precise number, then human beings couldn't live in the universe. Because all of these dials are set to unimaginably precise numbers, scientists describe our universe as fine-tuned. That is, fine-tuned to house human life. In other words, like the bombs exploding into smiley faces, our universe gives scientific evidence of having been masterfully rigged for human life by a mysterious fine-tuner. But many scientists disagree with this conclusion. Instead, they suggest a fascinating alternative explanation for the fine-tuned nature of our universe. They propose that our universe is just one of trillions of universes that have banged into being. That there is a kind of foam of universes bubbling up all the time. This is what scientists call the multiverse. If it exists, then we just happen to live serendipitously in one of the very few universes that even could house human life. In this scenario, there is no need to posit a mysterious fine-tuner. We simply won the universe lottery. Although this creative option is possible and definitely worth investigating, it has an Achilles heel for it is highly improbable that science could ever confirm that other universes exist outside of ours. So as things stand, the exquisitely fine-tuned nature of our universe points clearly in one direction, toward the reality of a master fine-tuner. A person who rejects this implication and is more inclined to believe in the multiverse may actually be right, but their belief isn't based on the current scientific evidence, but on something beyond science, something more like philosophy.